Hi, this is Omar Sikander, Solutions Engineer for SecurityGate. You might be here today because your organization is early on in its cybersecurity journey and might be seeking to deploy its resources most effectively. I think SecurityGate can help. The first thing that you'll see is the output of utilizing the product. You see insights relatively quickly on what your risks and what your top missing controls might be, which can immediately help you focus your efforts and your resources. But how did we get this the first thing you've got to do is figure out what you're going to assess. These might be critical sites or location systems. They might be applications. They might be third-party vendors. In this example, think of an oil and gas company that operates a liquefied natural gas plant. They might be interested in assessing the trains that actually liquefy the natural gas. Once you've got the assets or the entities defined, the next thing you've got to think of is what are you going to assess these against? You might have heard of NIST, you might have heard of ISO, you might have heard of 62443. These organizations, these acronyms, all these frameworks that are available might be intimidating to select at first. Security Gates experience can help guide you towards something that is specific to your industry or your use case that might be valuable. In this case, for oil and gas, we might point you to C2M2. Now that you've de defined what you're going to assess against, the next step is actually conducting the assessment. And the good news is, is if your organization is early on in conducting a risk assessment campaign, there's a lot of support provided by the authors and Security Gate to help the assessor and the respondent coordinate and collaborate in conducting an assessment. This can be in the shape of an intro section, answer legend, even within the tabs themselves that contain the requirement, you'll see a lot of help text um, to give additional context and guidance behind each requirement and how or why a response should be considered in a particular way. And once you submitted the assessment, these insights that we talked about earlier are automatically created. There's no configuration or setting up or creation required lowering the time to value extensively. So you can see your facilities and what they should look like um, relatively quickly against that particular assessment you took. And everything we've talked about thus far has to do with your current status or historical status and risk posture. But what are we gonna do moving forward? A lot of the time, unfortunately, these assessments are taken and forgotten, locked away in a cabinet that no one's ever gonna go see. Now driving some actual value and action is important to security gate. So we developed a remediation validation workflow to help maintain discipline on what actions need to be taken to elevate your security posture. Ultimately, these can feed a risk registry, which can be this single source of truth or trust as to what has been accepted as a deviation from a standard and giving you some insight into when you should consider deploying resources to remove this deviation, uh, business permitting. If this resonated with you, I invite you to schedule some time with us and give me the opportunity to walk you through how our platform and our expertise can make a major impact in your cybersecurity journey. Thanks. Chat soon.